upset. So I'm going to ask him for the last time. Who killed your girlfriend? Okay. And then okay. What did you do to me? What was? No, you expect me to believe a little baby stabbed and dogs to death? That was last time I had. Which is a baby. Babe. Babe, the weather is too hot. I think I have to go to my bed again. Your bed? Dead time, just this night. The heat is on there. Oh, I'm coming. You should have just turned to a fish and jump into the river and start doing <laughs> tiny <laughs> No, Mitre, don't go anywhere. Okay, no! Stop, stop, stop! Mitre! Interesting but scary story. Called from one of the Hollywood trailers. That was what happened. You start giving more realistic information by the time I buy your sorry ass to work in jail. You think I have time to listen to this cock and bull story? You think so? See, there are over 23,000 prisoners awaiting trial. And if you don't want to add to their number, better start telling me what transpired that night. I swear to God. Oh, that happened. Do you think it was the baby that killed your girlfriend? No. Who did? I didn't get the exact visual of the face. If you didn't get the exact visual of the face, it simply means it wasn't the baby that murdered your girlfriend. It's only one thing. The murderer Use the cry for baby to lure you to open the door. Is that it? Is there anybody within your neighborhood that you suspect could perpetrate such act? I don't know. But there is this one mental unstable guy or sad or sad who confronted my girlfriend at the night she was murdered. to you please don't allow my baby to die please Osas, eh? who does not know you in this area what you do all day is spend the whole day begging for money for your little girl but at the end of the day you spend it on weed see maybe the day you gave me the money eh? she was not hungry yeah but as she is there now she's hungry i can't you see yeah She's very hungry now, please help me. Then why didn't you save it to the day she'll be hungry? Rather than spend it on weed. See, okay, okay, okay. Auntie, eh? For you to know that this is very serious. That my baby is, is very, very hungry. Don't bother giving me money. Just give her breast. Breast milk. Meaning what? Breast milk. Breast milk. You have breast. Are you, you get... Are you out of your senses? Just feed her now for me. Just feed her. Just use your baby. I'm warning you. Don't you dare lay your hands on me. Are you going to finish this breast? Are you going to finish it? Is it not that you see your own? Oh, use this breast and feed her now. How can you be stingy with breast? Oh, for me, just for me. Don't you see? 
You see, I miss you, you see? Sorry, she's coming. The breast is coming. She will give you, she will give eh? you. Oh, sir. Please do justice. Feed this baby now. Feed this baby. Use your penis and feed the baby. Hey, she's talking. She's talking. Honey, what is wrong? You know this madman that thinks he can come here and assault me and Ah, I should not assault. Assault. What is the assault? I not assault. What is the assault? What is the assault? Me I assault her. I was only telling her to give me money. Yeah, little money, so we can. I can use her to. I use the money to feed the. I use the breast. The money breast uh, to feed the baby. That's all. Is that why you tried to touch my breast? Did eh? I touch? Okay. I was trying. Babe, but it's okay, I. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. But Sars, what's wrong with you now? Yeah? Uh, you could have made your request politely than touching my woman. Why are you going to touch my woman? Now we see they worry you. Yeah, you know they're okay. Ha, ha. Rose, the way you just spoke now, you're a very nice man. See, you, you just understood it just like that. You, you are a very kind person. God will punish you. God, God will bless you. God, God bless you for me, you understand? Okay, but uh, see, 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 listen. The baby is even talking to you. See, but what I asked, is it is it bad? Sorry, the breast is coming. Okay. Is it bad? I only asked for. Osaka, Osaka, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Not breast anymore, right? Money. Yourself, yourself. You said, you said. You're wasting your breast. You're wasting it. You're wasting Try and talk to me again. You're wasting the breast. Thank you very much. Baby, there's money now. See, next time I will not come. I will come for breast. Let me see you here. Thank next you, time. Eh? Madman. Thank you. God bless you. Next time I will just breast. Thank you. Homicide Department, State CID, B Division. You must be Osas. Yes, I am Osas. Osaloko, that's any problem. There has been a murder case in your neighborhood. Murder? Murder? And you are needed at the station for interrogation. Baby, it's okay. My mother does not stay here. Which mother? Mr. Man, are you insane? I said murder case. Someone died in your neighborhood. Somebody died in my neighborhood. Particular. Particular. Eh? Miss Madred Bunky. Do you know her? No, I don't know her. I don't know. Will you come back? I don't know. You sure no Melda. Do you know Tega? Tega, eh? Uh, Tega, Tega, yes, I know Tega. Baby, shut up. Miss Madred, they live together. Eh? Yes. I don't know. I, 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 tell them. I don't know. Any, did she die? Uh, see, I only. Wait. That lady don't die. That auntie don't die. This is what do you know about her death? I said I don't know anything about her death. I only know the boyfriend that gives me money. Shut up. Let me tell her something. I only know the boyfriend that gives me money whenever I want to I, I, I want to feed her. And that is why you killed her girlfriend because she refused to give you money the last night you requested for it. Hey! I've never given you money, man! Shut up! Arrest me. Hey, 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 shut Are you arresting me? Are you arresting me with the baby? Move. Hold on. Your baby is fine. Get 
Я в краю, край, край мог, край мог. late last night and I was tired. Secondly, my alarm clock failed me. But why didn't you wake me up? I did. And I didn't wake? You were dead. healthy in my life. But I saw blood all over your night swear. It's all a figment of your imagination. Hmm? Please, give me 20 minutes. Let me go in, take my bed, dress up and take you to school, okay? I'm already late for school. My teacher will flog me. <sighs> okay. In that case, I will go with you to school and see your teacher so that I will take the blame on myself, okay? Is that okay? So 20 minutes, I'll be out, okay? Yes, 20 minutes. Okay, darling? Okay. Yes. to get my girl and nanny, like I promised. This workload is becoming too much, honestly. <sighs> Is full stuff. We see rats there, at least one. Hmm? Maybe that's why there's no rats there. How do you mean? Her parents are poor and do not have anything to eat. Sometimes our teacher asks us we should share food with her during break time. Oh. 
Okay. Um, in that case, why don't you invite her over to stay with you while I'm at work? You know you don't like being alone. It's a good idea, Mom. Mm -hmm. Since Auntie Chiwe left, you promised to get another auntie that will be staying with us. Sweetheart, I'm trying my best. I've even applied to one NGO for a nanny. Nanny? Yes. I'm not a baby anymore. <laughs> That's a professional name for it. But while we're waiting for their feedback, invite your friend over to stay with you, okay? Okay, Mommy. Are you happy now? Yes. Okay. So no more rats. Let me finish pasting, okay? Good. Don't shout again. Promise. That name so much. Oh, thank you, ma. You're welcome. Uh, is this one? Um, she's my friend, Sophia. Ah, she's so beautiful. How are you? Good. So, Amanda, would you mind telling me about yourself? How you and my daughter became close? Um, my parents are late. My guardian is the only one sponsoring me through education. Kate and Sophia here, my only friends. Ah, it's so unfortunate. May the souls of your parents continue to rest in peace. Amen. And I promise I will support you in whatever way that I can. Okay? Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for your kindness. As long as my daughter is happy with your friendship. Hmm? Mom, yes, I dear. cherish our friendship so much. She will taught me as has during our masters. Really? Is that true? Yes, ma'am. I'm um, sweetheart, please. Next time, mm -hmm. don't teach her during my test or any test at all. You can teach her before then, okay? okay. All the same, I appreciate. Eh? So, Amanda can come to the house and enjoy with us, eat our food, and play with us, okay? Even Sophia. Mm? Thanks, ma'am. I no longer feel alone. It's okay. I'm happy for you. So, you like the food? Yes. Please, let's eat, let's eat. Hmm? I'll be accompanying my guardian to Calabar for sightseeing. Really? Well, I want to go to Calabar too. Sweetie, you can't go to Calabar. You'll be taking some lessons on mathematics. Your performance wearing too good last time. Oh, eh? You know I do not like staying home alone. And you know also that each time your meet and break, I tend to come back home early, isn't it? Um, Ma, I will tell my guardian I do not want to go to Calabar anymore. So, attend the lessons together. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. 
You've been a great friend to my daughter. God bless you. Don't worry, Ma. I will do anything to make Kate happy always. Really? Yes. Okay. I want you to make her understand mathematics better. Okay, I will. That's if you permit me to flog her like Uncle Emma. <laughs> <laughs> so let me run, okay? Eh? Take care of yourselves, okay? Please make sure she's happy. Eh? Bye, darling. Head. How come you made nothing without my own passion? I didn't know you would be coming. I was just passing by from the catechism class, so I decided to sneak in. That was very thoughtful of you, but you really scared me. The truth is that you're always scared. The aroma of the noodles and egg made me to come from the backyard. So it was you that felt those plates and pots. While I was coming for my own portion, I can quickly go and make some for you. No, it's okay. I didn't tell my guardian I'll be coming out late. It will just take two minutes. Mm, okay. If you insist. I did not insist. Long truth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, to the kitchen. A strange being in the darkness To whom my life is okay. worthless A strange great joy in the dark Hello? Hello? Madam, this is Detective Lambert. Hello? Hello? Madam, please do not open your door. I repeat, do not open your door. My colleague will be there in the chief. Thank you. 
She's dead. Fuck. Mr. Thompson, please, I need an ambulance immediately. At number six, Mwadebe, off Oakway Street. Fast! Sir, it's so unfortunate she has been murdered before we arrived there. Who could be doing this? Sir, I think we have a case of a serial killer on a killing spree. See, tell me something that will make sense to me, Officer Mena. Okay, sir. Here is a comprehensive list of all the victims murdered in the same manner. Sir, as you can see, they are all women and young girls. Considering that this killer lures his victims with the sound of a cry of a baby, isn't it a valid fact that women and young girls will be more attached to the baby's cry? This could be a man on a vengeful killings against two women simply because a girl jitted him in the past. Oh, come on, Officer Mena, you should be smarter than this. These are mere uh, speculations. You need to back this up with substantial facts. Okay, sir. In that case, I shall run a background test on the past relationship, love life of the murdered victims. I might be lucky to find something that will link us to the killers. Okay, that's fine. Do whatever you can do, Officer Mena. Because I'll be facing the press tomorrow. I need to give the people a cogent explanation on how we intend to nail the killer and also make them understand that we are fully committed to arresting whomever is the killer. Yes, sir. Every day, the sorrow 
every night you could kick in a fun look down with it beating his health center before. No. Young man, I will not repeat myself again. I said, have you visited his health center before? Yes. Why do you lie at first? I'm scared. I do not want to leave me up with another one. An innocent conscience has nothing to be scared of. Dr. Godwin happens to be the first man murdered by this serial killer. And while we combed his health center, we found a register inside his drawer. And all the victims murdered in the same manner have visited the health center with the same purpose of terminating unwanted pregnancy called abortion. Your girlfriend, Midred, was killed on the 2nd of June and her name is inside that register. So tell me, <coughs> what do you know about her death? I don't know anything. Yo, my speaker, what's wrong with you? Do you think I'm joking? I don't know anything. Do you, do you think I'm joking with you here? Are you ready to speak to me? I'll talk, I'm ready. came out and you're five weeks pregnant. Look, seriously, have I failed in my responsibility of raising you in Christian faith? Could you brought such a disgrace to me? Papa, Papa, please forgive me. It was a mistake. I'm a sorry. mistake what? Which mistake? <laughs> Tell me what happened. I'm sorry. I was just laughing. And, 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 and laughing too. Uh, his, about his jokes. And, and before I knew it. Before you knew it, what happened? What happened? He, he was on top of me. He was on top of me. 
a male joke, ordinary joke, got you pregnant. You're a disgrace, Mildred. I'm sorry. Mildred, what will I tell Father Matthew and the rest of parish members that I could not raise my only daughter well? You're leaving this house. Hey, You're leaving my house today. Hey, Papa. Don't make me. Papa, please, no, Papa, please. Hey, what am I going to do myself into? You are leaving my house today. Leave my house. 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 Leave you're a disgrace! Hey! 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 him now. He took me to the chemist for, for treatment and as soon as you only break nasty test. Oh, Midra, you shouldn't have let him. You shouldn't have done that now. You shouldn't have done that. What am I supposed to do? No, tell me. It was even the woman that raised the suspicion that I might be pregnant. Oh God, I'm finished. Oh. Oh so, what was his reaction? Hi. Oh. Hi. He sent me packing from his house and I don't have any way to go now. Calm down. You mean he sent you packing? <laughs> I finished, I finished, I got me. So where are your belongings? <laughs> At my friends, please. Just calm down. Calm down, please. I, I think I have to come along with you. To go meet your dad. To let me tell him. My intentions. I want to marry you. He might allow you to stay in his house till you give birth, please. Ega, you don't know this man. Damn, damn. I know my father more than you. You don't know this man. He is very strict and I know him. He will never agree to such. He will not. I... You don't have to jump into conclusion. <laughs> you just have to try. See, right now, we don't have much time to accept everything. Please, <laughs> we don't have any option right now. Please. Are you sure? Please go. Go for it. Go for it.
Where is that? We are going to the afternoon. Midway, what are you doing here? Good day, sir. I am Tega Dokubo, the guy responsible for your daughter's pregnancy. Please, sit down. You're welcome, my, my son. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Sir, please, I came to see you to formally inform you my intentions to marry your daughter. Marry my daughter. Yes, sir. It's okay. Yes. I, I believe you can settle this case amicably. I wish I understand you. That's no problem, ma'am. Where do you come from? I'm from Mori. Worry? Yes, sir. And what do you do for a living? I'm a student. University of Papa Court. I'm a final year student. A student of uh, University of Papa Court. Yes, sir. Uniport. Okay. But what are you doing in our community? Sir, I live here with my mother. Yes, my mother lives here in this village. You're living with your mother here? Yes, Mama Tega. My mother. Mm. Yes. It's okay. You are welcome. Uh, what do you want to take? A soft, soft drink, sir. Anything soft. <laughs> you don't take alcohol? No. I have alcohol, though. No, sir. I don't take alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Despite that, uh, <laughs> I go to church as we still take alcohol. Alcohol is not a sin. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. soft drink. Yes, okay. I am coming. I told you my father would not buy this idea, but you wouldn't listen. Your father is a fighter. He can run. No? But, but you didn't tell me you, you would flog us now. How am I supposed to know? Hi. That man is so unpredictable. I swear. Now I know better. Hi. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Hi. See, we don't have much time now, eh? We're going to go to your friend's house. Unpack your belongings. To so where? Eh? Let's move to my house. My personal house, my family house, so that you stay there and give birth to my baby, please. Yeah, how, how can you say that? Have you informed your mother? My mother is not a problem. 
She won't give us a problem, please. Let's go to my house. Are you sure? Yes. You sound so confident. Don't worry, I'm her only child now. She listens to me and understands me. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, let's go. You are lucky. You. Let's go. you have understanding mother, unlike my father. Mm -hmm. not, even though I'm the only child. Your father is a fighter. That girl with the outside is Ah, Mama. Mama, you first relax and eat something now. You just came back from work. My curiosity no go grimy sit down chop. I won't know. Begin the talk. Look at the year. Okay, Mama. Her name is Midred. My beloved girlfriend that I want to marry. Just like She's that. She's the one. Yes. Tega, since me will be your mama born you, you grow up, begin to carry girls come this house. You never ever for one day introduce anyone to me. Why her? Why now? Mama, it's because this one is she's special to me and I intend to spend the rest of my life with her. That's why. Just like that? Yes. You plan, you execute, you cut them. You suppose don't sit me down, me and you will discuss them, talk them, accept them before you, you, you conclude. But this one you conclude on your own. Now, now if I don't ask you, you don't go tell me. Abby? Mama, believe me, I've searched through my heart. This is the girl. I, I, I even wanted to marry. Please, I want to marry the girl. Tega, you know why they talk this thing? No, be so I don't like you. No, be so I hate you. Why are they talking and be say, I won't search. Go her background. No, what did they happen? No, the kind of family where she come from. No, her papa. No, her mama. No, if Chris did their lineage. No, whether they, they die quick for their family. Before you go ahead to say that the girl where you won't marry. Okay, Mama, what do you talk now? True. Yes, now true. You suppose don't ask. But now, why I can't meet Dredd enter this house? May she stay with you for a while. At least make you observe the girl. Make you know if she's capable of staying and, and know how hardworking she is and diligent. Eh? No, I understand me now. No problem. We go stay. I go, I go look up. I go look up. Mama, you go see. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ah, oh, they worry. Hey, mama, mama. Tega! 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 I don't warn you. I don't tell you. I don't beg you. I don't carry you sit down. Tell you say that girl. That girl, so she don't go stay on that my own roof. Mama, I know she tolerates you. Her insults at my woman. That girl, she's my woman. Mm? It's too much, you don't too much, please. Eh? Who be your woman? Get, get, get. Come. You call that one your woman. Tell your woman. Woman, we no get dignity. We no get respect. When any man feel carry go bed any time. I beg, I beg. Not that them to find that one as woman, I beg. That one is simply slot. What in English they call them? Slot. A shower. Mama, you have to respect my choice and my decision as a man. You see that woman? You see that girl? You poor woman. Yeah. I love her so much. Exactly. And she's carrying my unborn child. Eh? Wait till you talk. So no trial. Wait till you talk. No, no, no. No put no trial for that matter. You don't press. You don't know how to talk to your mama. See, now I tell you. Make you not allow that girl. Use that thing when she called pregnancy. Tie your future down. You hear him? Um, meanwhile, how you take this show? Say now you give one belle. How? Mama, leave one to me to worry about. I love Midre with all my heart. Hi. And no one can stop us. 
no one fit coming between us. Not hey. even you, Mama. Me? I don't suffer. Not even me. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Because your papa not there alive. If your father were to be alive, you going to open this gutter you call mouth on your face to insult or talk to me in that manner. Mama, have you forgotten that you've given birth to me before my dad even made up his mind to marry you? Have you forgotten, Mama? I don't She goes to the house. I married the girl. Uh, Nobody feels like that. No one can stop me. Mama, I don't want to come. 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 Hey, I don't suffer. He's not the one I be. Oh God! You are the one I know. I for finish you this afternoon, idiot. Because I don't look in the laugh. You think I'm so happy? You don't forget me now. You don't forget me because you don't grow. You never have to do that again in this war, idiot. Me, you, you will come with me here. They wait you. Imagine. Hey, I don't suffer. Don't worry, don't worry. You'll meet me later. What a life of an innocent woman. Give me come, Mary. Oh, give me come, Mary. Oh, give me come, tears every day. Sorrow every night. To quirk you, give me nothing. Why does your mother hate me so much? Why? What really matters is the love I have for you. I'm ready to defend our love in whatever circumstance. My mother cannot hurt you. But she has been threatening me. She has. My mother don't feel do anything to you. She don't feel try her. And my mother, she don't feel do anything. You're my wife. How do I cope in this house if you go back to the city? Madrid. Madrid, come. Just have to manage. Since when you're malign, you're pallet, you don't lose guard you. Say you know if you enter your house. Please, just have to pay it for a while, please. See, I'm scared. Mitre, you don't have to be scared. I'm assuring you, nothing will happen to you. My malign, if you do anything, just calm down, please. Just calm down. I love you. I love you too. Just calm down, please. You'll be alright. Nothing will happen to you. Carry this myself. Say they wash these clothes. I'm a novice. Now your clothes, and you asked me to wash them. And so, if from my clothes, how that one take on me? Must you wash it with my soap? Okay. One more way. Okay, Money, one more way. No problem. Mo. You go tell me whether your boyfriend he leave any money for this house or anything before he come out. But mama. I, I, I thought they had bought some items, and this soap was part of the items. Oh, 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 oh. Tega, tell you say na money, 
in the by those things, Abby. No problem. Wait, I won't follow you to some worship. You know, now. Ah! It's yours! It's yours! Then I tell you, sir, if I need some for me, I want to tell you, if I want some for me. But that's okay. Now you. I mean, that's business now. You do a small, small. I like, give me that small leaf, man. I take away. Like. Okay, small leaf, I'll be your favorite. Where my money can go now? Okay. Pass, pass, pass. Okay. How much? I'm already. I'm not getting money now. I'm not getting money now. I'm not getting the coach you got here. The woman, you don't let the person rest. <laughs> Doctor, I don't put them, sir. Thank you. <sighs> what is it? I beg you, get me anything you can just show. Are they hungry? <laughs> anything where you feel chop, I be you never chop. <laughs> Cook, ah, no dread. What is wrong with you? Why do you look so tired? Look at your hair. What is frustrating you like this? If you bring food first, I don't have strength to talk. Or do you want me to die? Mm -mm. I don't want you to die. So hold on. Thank you. Look 
seconds you finished everything <laughs> my dear it has been so frustrating for me i can't bear it anymore what is the matter <sighs> i hardly eat from both parents My parents abandoned me because of this pregnancy. Tegas mom. Ha! She hates me with passion. She, she detests me. She beats me. She abuses me. She does all sorts of things to me. I can't even do anything. I have no other home. against me. I just wish <laughs> I wish I could end this whole thing. But I can't do it. <laughs> I need to okay, just calm down. <laughs> Mildred, it's okay. Everything will be fine. <laughs> I understand how you feel. The truth is, I have been in your shoes before. So I understand how you feel perfectly. The societal stigma attached to unwanted pregnancy is one that makes our parents act like they don't love us. It makes them act like they hate us. But deep down, deep down they do. Deep down they do. But she was so concerned about what people would say. And you know what, Mildred? I had to terminate the pregnancy just so I could have my life back. You mean you had an abortion? That is taking the life of an innocent child who has done nothing to you. It's not just an inhuman, you know that. How could you? How can I keep a baby? when I can barely take care of my own self. Mildred, I do not regret anything. You know why? If I had kept that baby, it would have changed the course of my life. Can you listen to yourself? What are you saying? I thought you were a true Christian. How could you? Christianity, you say? Yes. Are you talking about Christianity? <laughs> were you thinking about Christianity when you were playing around with your boyfriend? My dear, please just spare me that. Spare me all this Christianity thing, please. My advice to you as a friend and as a sister is for you to go and take this thing, this thing you call it baby, take it out and go back and beg your parents for forgiveness. I will never do such a thing. I will not. It's enough shame that I am in this condition. But taking the life of an innocent child to remove shame is beyond wickedness. And I will not do it. Really? Yes. Take a look at yourself, Mildred. You look frustrated. Should I get you a mirror? Should I? 
take a look at yourself you look tattered you look dirty you look unkept look at your hair mildred and you want to keep that thing you call a baby if you don't do it now believe me you will regret this you will can i wash my hands sorry i forgot let me get you water Robo ari nuge Money robo ari nuge Akoro ri ki mango ti jere da se wa ware Ona da ma ni block abo odo ta mere o Foolish money plant mango for mere do before he come o Another money block amo odo ta mere o Urobo ari nuge Everything is mama Good girl Welcome thank you ma Put your nya share Okay My pique Mhm you know that girl where they call me that one will carry no sense for the let's say get belly for my baby. Am I good, Mama? I know, I know, I know. I know saying that you're a good friend. Now make me call you here. I need small favor from you. You know that girl. Yes. I don't know what she carry for belly which is saying I picking she carry for my picking. I want me you advise her. Make it come on that nonsense when you call picking from in belly. You hear me? Oh, Mama, I'm not fit to lamb that kind of thing now. Will you shut up your mouth. Shut up. Shut because I didn't take her easy with you. Sorry, Ma. Meanwhile, calm down. That shut up not be for you. Okay. Just forget them. Meanwhile, you were there, so you know like better thing. <laughs> Mama, I like better thing now. <laughs> you know go like make my picky marry you. You see, I'm. <laughs> you didn't smile. <laughs> so just do this small thing for me. Tell her, make she come out that nonsense when she carry for belly. Just try to convince her. Okay. Do your part, make me do my part. Okay, Mama. I, I can also convince my son to marry you. <laughs> okay, Mama. <laughs> if Thank you are you, Mama. I don't finish with you. Okay, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Why didn't you finish up my story? Shut up. I was that part that scares me. Meaning what? Just keep listening. Yes. I was never in support of the abortion. So, no one informed me when my mother took her to Dr. Godwin's health center. My late girlfriend told me a spirit shedding tears of blood was always in front of the clinic. I have to go back home. Home? Yes. What do you mean by that? A ghost. A ghost? There's no such thing as a ghost in the eyes of the law, young man. But it doesn't mean they do not exist. But it's real. So, so did she terminate the pregnancy? Yes. That was her. That was how her name and that of my mother. In third register, my mother took her to the clinic by herself and signed on her behalf to abort the pregnancy. I think that was how, why my mother was killed too. <laughs> my mother. What did they do there? Take it up. Make me can rest more. Rest for what thing? When you they open, they do the thing. You don't rest, so you not tired. Now you they tired. My friend, get up and wear glass. Just rest more. They do you. Get up, my friend. Yeah, yeah, get up. They move now. What did they do? Are you okay? They go. Who is my time? 
I'm so worried that make I go and go to wash your plate and pot. You can go. I had to agree with your mother to abort my child. I had to do it to please her and have my peace. You should have informed me first. I did not want you and your mother to continue your quarrels. And besides, everything happened so fast. Trust me, I am so sorry. But I can't stay here anymore. So where are you going to? I don't even know where I am going to from here. Your mother has rejected me. My own father rejected me. I have to go to anywhere and maybe pray they accept me there. But I can't stay in this house anymore. We didn't have to go. I've not rejected you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend, leave and make it a go. Oh, please, stay out of this. You've already caused enough damage here. Please, stay out of this, ma. So you won't beat me. Because of this useless and hopeless girl, you won't beat me. This is not the type of girl I won't make you marry. No be this one. This useless and hopeless thing. Where you carry come this house. No be this kind of woman you go marry. Mama start of this, oh. Mama start of this. You've caused enough damage. Oh. Hey, you won't beat me, Aju. You? you won't Mama. beat me because Mama. of that one. Mama, don't worry. Uh -huh. I'm going. I'll go with that. You don't go with that. I'll go with that. So I'll go with you. 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 I'm going with that. You're a woman. Take that. Take that. You're a woman. Don't worry now. Don't worry. Sooner or later, you go see the thing what they do for you. Because of this useless girl, you they come out, you won't fight me. I'm not saying she don't be with you. She don't be with you. For now, they go. But shame go be your own. Oh, wait. But boy, you wait. Don't worry, you'll come meet me and you go beg me and I'll go grieve. Are you trying to tell me that some person or people are killing everyone who committed an abortion in doctor's clinic? That is what it is. What was the name of friend to your girlfriend? I only met her once or twice. Name was I met Thompson. What's your name? My name is here. So tell me, how do I get this girl? Where does she live? Tell me exactly, how does she exist? She's dead. She, she died before my dear friend made dread. Oh, me dread. Oh. Is there any report about her death? Nobody knew what killed her. We only thought it was a sort of ritual killing. But no. Now I know better. Mr. Tega, look at me. I said you should look at me. Who killed Midred?
money is not going to work now. So that you can stay alert later tonight. <clears throat> is someone chasing mommy away? <laughs> I think she wants you to go so that she can change the channel to her favorite cartoon network. Is it true? Yes, network news is very so much boring. <laughs> really? Kate, but news channel is also very important. It helps you to know what's happening around you locally and around the world. I got Google Latin in my smartphone. <laughs> this is no smartphone, this is TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's watch Katsu. Okay, we'll change to Katsu. Alright, go ahead. Eh? I will watch cartoon today. Mm -hmm. So which one are we watching? Tom and Jerry? Um. Of an innocent woman, can it come? Oh, can it come? Oh, can it come? Tears every day, the sorrow every night. You quirky gay enough for none. Look down with the beating. Oh, hey, the tears of the innocent. Enough for from one pain to the other, from sorrow to bitterness, Onyeka Muga Kora, Onyeka Muga Bakulunu, I knew a book on my belly. Of the inner What a life of an innocent woman. Can it come Tears every day, the sorrow every night. You walk again, enough Look down with the beating heart. Oh, hey, the tears of the innocent. Enough for enough from one pain to the other, from sorrow to bitterness. Onyeka muga kora, onyeka muga bakulunu. I, I knew we book on my belly. Hey ya, oh hey. Tears of the innocent. In a fuquao, 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 in a fu
Woman, woman, take no step further. I can see strange spirits, strange spirits walking around you in form of two baskets. Great one. I, I can't see anyone. If you can see through the eyes of the spirit, uh, you only see the two caskets, one by your left and the other by your right. For what is beyond your eyes is greater than what is in front of them. That is why I'm here. That's why I've come here to see you. Mm. Count yourself as a fortunate soul who has found succor in the tent of Lord Eza, the great spiritualist. For the nightmares you had, it's nothing, it's nothing compared to what is coming. The blood you spilled is asking for your own blood. I have never killed anyone. I only save lives. I have never spilled blood. I've never done that. We live, we live, we know, we know. We dead, we dead. We knew, we knew. What about what you? About you? I'm born. The color eater does not know when the stone is angry. Someone, somewhere, someone, somewhere has been possessed by the spirits of the unborn to take your own life. Mm. Mm. The womb of a woman is the most sacred, the most sacred place on earth. Do you know this? Yes. He once visited a doctor that terminated a lie from your own womb. It was my ex-husband. It was my ex-husband. I didn't want to carry the child of a criminal. It was my ex-husband though. Abortion does not make you unpregnant. It only makes you the mother of a dead baby. Great one, please. I don't want to die. Please, tell me what you want me to do and I will do it. Please. You will seek forgiveness from God. Seek forgiveness from the spirit of the unborn. And pray in the name of whatever you believe in. Then come back. Come back after seven days of dry fasting. Go now. Go now. Go. Bother yourself. Mommy will be fine, okay? Oh, please, no. It is easy to cry. Please talk to me. <laughs> okay. Earlier today, a child died of food poisoning. Anyone that took the life of an innocent child doesn't deserve to live. Sweetheart, the child was not killed. He 
wasn't poisoned. <laughs> he only ate the food that was contaminated with the toxin of a bacteria. That was what happened. Then why was he not properly treated? <laughs> it's heartbreaking. <laughs> We tried our best, but he was not admitted on time. This is okay. It's okay. Can you tell us? Okay. okay. <laughs> I will not cry again. Okay. I'm okay now. Okay. So now you need to eat your food. Oh, baby. Mommy is in not that kind of mood. No, you must eat your food. Eat your food. No, please. Just one spoon. Baby. Please. Sorry, but I don't please, have no. the appetite to eat. Baby, don't but understand. You must eat. Mm -mm. Eat. Just one spoon. No. Mm -mm. Mommy can't eat now. Try and understand me, okay? M mommy is not hungry. Please. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll, I'll be fine. Hmm? Okay. Thanks, Daddy. I'll be fine, okay? Hmm? Thank you. Mommy will be okay. Don't go yourself. brought him to this clinic? I do not know. That's why I drew your attention to it. But keep moving. Is his name on the register? Not really. His name is not there, but I think the register were for those patients who had an abortion and their nest of kin. Except this center also serves as a maternity clinic. I don't see any reason for him to be here exactly what I'm saying. Should I invite him for further interrogation? No, no, no. He, he's mentally unbalanced. What if he's faking it? Because that is how most of these serial killers behave. They pretend to be mad. They look tattered, so unkept. And before you knew it, they will start committing their evil plan. They are very, very deadly. So if I'm to go with this, your proposed theory, it means somebody somewhere is killing the patient that did an abortion and the nest of kin. That's exactly what I think. I think somebody somewhere or probably there is a patient who died while committing abortion and his nest of kin is killing for revenge. I think that's the point. I have to call Right here. That's a good idea. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We saw that man again in front of the clinic. Yes, sir. From my observation, sir, I think that the person that cut off the name of the nest of king from that register is the killer. Yes, sir. Okay, sir.
state. What are you people doing in the visitor's room? Mom, we slept here because we read our books. Who said this ringtone for you? It's not my ringing tone. So what is this I'm doing on your phone then? We set it as an alarm so that we can wake up around 4 a.m. to read. Jesus. So of all the sounds in the whole world, is a cry of a baby that you're using as your alarm whatever. Is it? And you? Were you not aware of this? Eh? You are not going to see this phone again. I am seizing it. Come oh, on, keep quiet before I break your leg. Keep quiet. Mommy, my phone! Please, I'm really sorry on her behalf. Whether you are sorry on her behalf or not, this phone is seized. She won't see it again. Leave her, let her cry. If she cries, what will happen? Oh, my mommy connects my phone. It's not just a cry of a baby. Shameless one at that who drugged and raped me. Don't you dare. I didn't drug you. Neither did I rape you. What you had was consensual. I can't stand this anymore. My parents are respectable deacons in the church. <laughs> Mom is making plans to report this to the police station. You can't allow that to happen. She's jeopardizing my job. Then you have to go talk to her yourself. Lambert, then what option do we have left? Terminate the pregnancy. I can't do that. Like, I've not done that kind of thing in my entire life. Listen, I made. I understand you. I cannot cater for this. You want me to lose my job? Please, you have to get rid of it. Remove it, please. It's easier said than done. Then what about my life? What if I die? I can assure you, I will take you to the best doctor that will handle this. You will not die. He will take care of you and I will protect you. I never can. Though she terminated the pregnancy perfectly, I could not protect her even as a police officer. I made was murdered in cold blood like a foul. I didn't want the homicide department to link me up with the murder case. So I did what I had to do. 
The killer seems to attack his victims in the same manner. It's more like the same mother weapon. A mother weapon that has never been seen or found in the crime scene. <sighs> Let's not rush into conclusion that it's the same killer. I think we should interrogate the neighbors first. I think so. Okay. I think so. Um, but before that, I need you to call the ambulance man. Okay. Yes. Hello? Hello, please. There's an emergency here right now. We need the ambulance. Right now, please. It's urgent. We need the ambulance right At now. At number six, Uzigwe Street. At number six, Uzigwe Street. We need the ambulance here right now, immediately. So, who stays in this place? I'm the one. Okay, you're the one. What exactly do you say happened? I really don't know because it was late in the night. But then, I heard a loud outcry of a baby followed by some smashing of some glasses. At what time was this happening? Um, let's say by a few minutes past 10 p.m. So, what do you people have to say about this? Do you observe anything at 10 p.m. last night? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Uh, Madam, I don't know anything about it. You mean when I, my night, I they always come from where we they drink parmi and uh, cigar. My night, I they always come. I just surprise say, everything. I just see your things like this. Eh? Now, what for people? What followed immediately after the smashing of the glasses? I was too scared. I, I, I didn't know what happened. I just quickly ran under my bed. Till this morning I woke up. You were too scared and you yes. ran under your bed till this morning. I don't understand all these questions you are asking me. Will you I'm shut so up? Why didn't you call the attention of the police to it? Anyways, I said earlier that I was too scared. I'm I sorry, young lady. Well. Well. You have to accompany us to the station. And pull down a statement for it. Am I the murderer? Sergeant, get her. Eh? I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to kill her. I woke up this morning and I saw what happened to her. How am I Apart business? from her being your next door neighbor, is there any existing relationship between the both of you? She's just my landlady. Your landlady. And what exactly is her full name? Her name is Mrs. Felicia Ebo. Sergeant, do your work. Yes, Don't touch me. I didn't do anything. Madam, I'm not going to do this now. Leave me here. Madam. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was not dead. She was not dead. She was dead. And for the rest of you, I shall come back. And if we get to find out that you have hands in this, I will make sure I squeeze the daylight out of the three of you, including you. Move this car.
can I get my answers now? What did your innocent landlady do to you that made you to murder her? I said I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. She said, listen. It is only the truth that will set you free here, young lady. So tell me, why did you kill her? I have no reason on this earth to kill my landlady. I didn't kill her. I can see your mind is <laughs> I'm going to give you 10 minutes to think. I believe that by the time I'm back here, I'll get all the answers I need. <laughs> Start talking. I never said the baby is mine. I never said it's mine. Tell me, how did you get the baby and who is the mother? Tell me what you're doing in Dr. Godwin's clinic. I used to be a nurse in Dr. Godwin's clinic. I said it. A male nurse. I said it. I said it that it takes someone that has worked in that clinic to get hold of the register and start killing people. I've never killed anyone. I've never killed anyone. Never killed anyone. Shut up and tell us. Why did you stop working at the clinic? Because, 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 because I was always advising every year that I came for abortion and it wasn't right to kill an innocent baby at any stage of their pregnancy. Was that, was that why you took the loss into your hands and started killing people? Was that why? Listen to me. Was that why you took the loss into your hands and started killing people? No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Talk to me. Talk, talk. Hey, hey, hey. Killers. If you wish to live here at life, 
you must tell me where and how to find this woman. Osas, we have every reason to believe that this woman's life is in danger. So we need you to tell us everything you know. Please do cooperate with us. Or what will you gain if this woman is killed? Strange being in the dark nights To whom my life is worthless Yes, I'm very sure she's the one She's our matron here We have every reason to believe that her life is in danger You need to keep trying her number What exactly? For detailed explanation All you have to do is to keep trying her number What her number is this switched off? Can you give me a house address? Okay Okay, let me try to put down. Alright, okay. Number 33. 33. Akanibiam Street. Akanibiam Street. Square Wing Avenue. Square Wing Avenue. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I think I have to leave you now. Okay, thank you for the information. A strange creature in the dark Looking for a life to put to an end day It is so, so scary Locking in the darkness Spirit of the unborn Hunting eight offenders Hey, who walked this lion? What is he doing? He's a pastor and he's performing some spiritual cleansing right in our compound here. But why? His prayers will fortify this compound against evil machinations and those strange things you used to say. Okay? His prayers will take care of them. But why did you not call our pastor? Who name? Amanda, my friend, she's very prayerful. What the spiritualist is doing is called exorcism. Mm. It can only be done by a strong prophet. Do you remember that portion in the Bible where uh, the disciples of Jesus couldn't cast out demons from a man? Good. And they invited Jesus to come and help them? Yes. That's exactly what he's doing outside. Good, that's it. Hmm? Hmm. So did you get it now? Look at, look at this. I don't want you to tell your friend Amanda. But why? <clears throat> don't tell her yet. I'll tell you later. Why, okay? Okay. Promise? Okay, I promise. Good. <laughs> this is your <a> best <laughs> Front of your compound. Do you see anything outside? 
You mean you didn't see anybody here? No, I didn't. We're leaving. Why no? We are going to my matana village, okay? Hope Paul is well, ma. Yes, Amanda. That's where we'll be for the weekend. Let's go, let's um, go. I decided to visit when I was coming back from my catechism classes. Mom, I'm getting scared. Can't Amanda come with us? No, Kate. I'll have to inform my guardian first, okay? My matana village is about 45 minutes from here. So we'll drop you off along the way. Come, 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 let's go and pack our tents. Come, Kate, come. We're leaving this place now. Mom, is that not the prophet? Which prophet? What's the problem? Why are you leaving your house to the village? Oh, we fumigated the whole house, so we have to stay here for some time. You know, to avoid inhaling the toxic substance. Eh? Oh, I think That's I will one. stop here. Yeah? Yes, it's near to my place. Okay. Okay, now bye. Alright, take care. Take care. Kate, bye. That's bye. Fast. <laughs> What is your problem? Can't you just keep quiet? Must you say everything? Oh. We were asking you about the prophet. You were busy talking. Why did you think about the prophet? You know, just oh. you simply oh. kept quiet. Oh, where is the prophet? Why is he mad? Do I know? Would have allowed me let me tell my mama and dad the truth. Which truth? Sister, it is well. Oh, it is well. Amen. God is still God. And as long as He is still on the throne, everything will be fine. Oh, feel very comfortable. You can actually go to the kitchen, prepare something for you and your daughter to eat. Hmm? Everything will be fine. But will God still hear my prayers? Uh -uh. How do you mean? I... I visited a strong native spiritualist. Holy Mother of God. You know, he came to the house. You know, the process of seeking for solutions and everything, he... He did some exorcism in the house. You know, I was confused, so I was looking for solution here and there. So that's why I'm asking, will God still listen to me? <sighs> Gladys, Sister. what happened to you? What happened? Our mother brought us up in the ways of the Lord. Have you lost faith in him?
my sister, believe in God. He will never disappoint you. Has he disappointed us? No. Please, I will need your constant prayers. Please, I beg you. Of course. Of course, I'll be praying for you. Thank you are my sister. Thank you. But um, for now, I have an appointment in the church. Okay. But while I am gone, you have to read Psalms. 72, 89, and 102. Okay. Hmm? I will. Our good Lord will take control. Amen. Amen. And our mother Mary will always intercede for you. Amen. I, I'll be back in the evening. Okay. Oh. Thank you very Thank you. much. Mm. Thank you. Mm. is not running away. Hmm? But I don't like this place. No light, no television to watch my cartoon. I want to go back to the city. Please help me to talk to my mom. Okay. I will talk to your mom. Hmm? Okay. But for now, I want to give you a gift. Hmm? Come close. See this? It's a beautiful gift. I give you this gift in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Always wear it. Okay. Hmm? When I come to the city, I will teach you how to pray the rosary. Okay. Hmm? okay oh, may God bless you. Amen. Amen. I'll talk to your mother. Okay. Hmm? Um, sister, hmm? please. I will be leaving tomorrow for the city. What's that? I'm so skeptical about, about going back. You know, the cry of that baby is really disturbing. I don't know what is going to happen by the time I get to the city. Please, can you do me a favor? At least within this week, try and visit us. Even if you spend like two or three days or more with us so that I will have you in the house because I don't know what I don't know what is going to happen next. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Gladys, calm down. God is in control. This is exactly what the devil wants. Yes. The devil wants to instill fear in you. For you to be living in fear. The Bible says, whoever has God has everything. You have God. You shouldn't be afraid of the Satan. You shouldn't be afraid of the devil. Okay. I will come. I will come. But before then, remember those Psalms. Okay. Read those Psalms with faith. With faith, even if it's as little as the mustard seed. Okay, sister. Keep reading it. Keep believing and trusting in God. Everything will be fine. Okay. 
You don't need to be afraid. Remember the rosary. Remember the rosary. Hmm. Always pray it. And our Mother Mary will always intercede for you. Amen. God is all forgiving. No matter what you have done, He will forgive you. Amen. That is, if you have truly repented. I will come by the grace of God. You don't know how relieved I am now. <laughs> I was so confused. I didn't know what I was doing. You shouldn't be. Imagine me going to a spiritualist, whatever for. <laughs> it's just the devices of the enemy. <sighs> Thank you, sister. To her. Eh? The food is just took a dead body away. Hey! My sister! Hey! What happened? What happened to my sister? Madam, you are under arrest hmm? for the murder of Mrs. Gladys Okusigo. My sister. No! Madam, you have the right to remain silent. Because anything you do or say here will be used against you in the court of law. Now move it. Move it! Now! Don't do anything! I don't do anything! Hey! Get to the discussion, you explain that. Brother, I did not do anything. Madam, will you shut up? Please, I'll move it. My daughter. Madam, please move it. Inspector! Carry this down. Hey, where are you? revenge. That soul is out for revenge. Allow God to handle this because he alone can handle this whole situation. There's nothing any of you can do. You cannot stop it. 
You cannot stop this soul. Are you stupid? By the time, by the time I'm done with you, you will not have any mouth to call God again. Do you think we are playing here? Are you ready to confess or not? Come 